So I've got four eggs here. I'm going to crack and separate them. Uh, make sure that both bowls are nice and clean, especially this one, because this is the bowl that I'm going to use um, to make the meringue with. So it's definitely oilless, spotless, very clean. Okay, so now this bowl will go into the fridge. Okay, so in the egg yolks, I'm going to add 45 grams of oil. I've also started to preheat the oven to 170 Celsius degrees or uh, 338 if you're using Fahrenheit. And I've also prepared the uh, muffin tins or cupcake tins. Uh, I think it will make about eight cupcakes. Now in this, I'm going to also add a tea bag of Earl Grey tea. So I'm going to add 80 grams of golden yellow sugar into the meringue. Uh, the reason being is because today I'm making Earl Grey cupcakes and I want them to be a bit brownish, yellowish. Anyway, so I've decided to use yellow uh, sugar and uh, I'm only adding 80 grams because I don't want it to be too sweet today. So I want it to be a bit healthier. So I'm just going to add 80 grams. Uh, normally, I think I add about 100 grams. 80 grams of sugar going straight in. Okay, now I can go and whip them. You won't want to have stiff meringue because if you do that, your cupcakes won't expand in the oven anymore, which means that the top of the cupcakes will have wrinkly surfaces and they might even shrink. So whip it to the point that you see a trail or ribbons in your meringue, but not stiff peaks. After that, continue to whip it at low speed for one minute to get rid of the large bubbles in the meringue. Then it should be ready. So it's nice and glossy. Perfect. So I've sifted 90 grams of flour into the bowl. I'm going to gently whisk them. Okay, and then I'm going to add the egg yolk mixture to get off the tea. Try to run your whisk down from the side of the bowl and then scoop the batter up with the whisk to mix the content. Keep doing that until it's well combined. You don't want to do this for too long though or you might risk destroying all the bubbles in the egg whites. Once you think it's well combined, stop mixing it. This looks great to me. Now fill the cupcake cups up to about 90% full or leave half a centimeter gap from the top of the cups because the air bubbles in the egg whites will continue to expand in the oven. Okay, they're ready to go. I fill them up to half a centimeter below the top of the cupcake cups and I'm going to bake them for about 18 minutes at 170 Celsius or 338 Fahrenheit. They're looking beautiful. They've risen quite a bit, and that's the reason why I left the half a centimeter gap. Okay, so I've cooled these uh, cupcakes on a cooling rack, and they're now nice and cool, ready to be piped. I have to make a correction. I actually baked it at 165 celsius which is 330 fahrenheit i made some earl grey tea cream cheese for the cupcakes and here's the list of ingredients for it i've pre-soaked a tea bag in 90 grams of milk the night before i added about two tablespoons of that in the pot and now i'm adding 10 grams of corn flour in it Mixing flour with a small amount of liquid in the beginning will prevent the mixture from becoming lumpy. 
Stir until you don't see any more lumps. Now I can add the sugar. I don't like my dessert too sweet, so I only added 35 grams of sugar, but feel free to add more. When you don't see any lumps anymore, add the rest of the milk tea, turn the heat to medium heat, and keep cooking and stirring until it thickens. Now, turn off the heat and take the pot off the stove. Whilst it is still hot, add 60 grams of cream cheese into the pot and stir until well combined. Then, let it cool. Sorry, I forgot to film the piping part, but you can decorate it any way you like, really. If you don't want to pipe it, you can also just use the butter knife to spread the cream on top of the cupcakes and sprinkle some brown sugar on top as decoration.